everyone. Now in this video, I'm going to introduce you to binary and hexadecimal. So all those things about ones and zeros, I'm going to tell you what they're about. Okay, so if we start with our regular numbers that we're used to, start with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we've run out of digits. They're all the digits we've got. Okay, so we have to go back to zero again. But now we put a one over here and we do the same sort of thing. So one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine. Again, we've run out of digits, so we put a two over here. Okay, and that's how it works. It just keeps going up. Now, if we have a look at that, we can see that the amount of digits we've got to play with is 10. We have 10 digits here, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 of them. So this is a base 10 numbering system, okay? And we call it decimal, okay? So again, you've got, you've got 10 values you can play with, okay? So that's what we're used to, and that's all good and well. But there's other numbering systems out there. And here's another one. Let's say, again, we start with zero. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, before, we only had 10 digits here. So we had to tick over one over here and start again. But we're going to borrow some letters and just do a few more here. So go A, B, C, D, E, F. And now we'll tick over and start again. Okay, so we start off with zero again and do the same thing like we did before. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, and so on. Now this numbering system if we count them up here, between here and where we had to repeat, there's 16 values, okay? If you count all these up, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, 11, 16. So this is a base 16 numbering system, okay? And it's called hexadecimal, okay? Okay, so it's just another numbering system that works with a different base than what we're used to. So now we'll talk about binary. And if you think about the word, we know that like in decimal, you've got des means 10 and that's a base 10 numbering system. Let's say in this time, we're gonna start off like we do with zero, then go to one, but let's say that's it, okay? And we, we've got to go back to zero again because we're only using two variables. So now it's already ticked over this second column here. And let's just uh, do a few more here, okay? So one, one. Again, it only goes up to, to one, then we have to start again. So we're ticking over here lots of values, okay? So I'll just do a couple more here and explain it. So you can see though that there's only, only two possible digits to play with. Like over here we had 10 of them for decimal, 16 for hex, and now we've only got two for binary, okay? So I'll just do a few more here. And then I'll explain the details of this. So you can see that really it just increments in the same sort of method. You know, once you run out of digits that you've got, you have to increment the next column. So let's move it along here. 1101, 1110, 1111. Once they're all full, yeah, we've got to tick the next one over. Now we're up to 10000. Okay, and now it's one zero 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 one one zero zero one zero that's a zero one zero zero one 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 zero one zero zero okay now same sort of concept as before we only have <laughs> we only got two different digits here to play with okay so that's base two and that is known as binary. Okay, so it might seem silly as like why why do we have a, a system that's only base two? All right, 
Well, that's because we're either talking about a one or a zero, and in computer terms or electronics in general, that could be a high voltage, a low voltage, a signal or no signal, on or off, up or down, you know, high or low. It could be any of, well, either of two variables. So it's, it's good for computers to work in binary. That's why they do it. Okay, but if we have a closer look here, using four bits, these things are called bits, right? If it's a one or a zero, that's, that's a bit. It's a single bit. So that's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit. Now, I've drawn this a bit rough, but all of these are equivalent. So obviously zero equals zero all the way through from decimal to hex to binary. Okay, you know, let's have a look at, let's say four. Four in decimal is the same as four in hexadecimal, which is the same as one zero zero in binary. Now we go all the way down to, let's say, um, let's say 15, okay? So 15 in decimal is the same as F in hexadecimal, which is the same as 1111 in binary. Okay, so let's just say we go to here, these four bits, okay? Before we started using this extra column here, we just had these, these four bits. Now, from the start up here, if I do it on this side, between there and the end of those four bits, it's a total of 16 numbers. So it would be handy if we could represent this with something other than ones and zeros because you get confused really easy. So it just so happens we've got a hexadecimal. So what we can say is 1111 in uh, binary is equivalent to F. And it makes it nice and simple because rather than base 10, which doesn't really fit as a nice multiple of 2, 16 does. So we'll use this base 16 um, to represent quite often four bits of a binary number there, okay? Okay, so that's a quick overview of the base numbering system. So you've got base 10 for decimal, base 16 for hexadecimal, and base two for binary. So I'll dig into binary a bit further now and see if we can explain some more about it. Okay, so if I give you a four bit binary number, one, zero, one, one, okay? This, what this means is we have this value over here was it was only went between 0 and 1, remember? So that value there is only worth 1, okay? This value here is worth double. Every time you go left, it's worth double. So that one's worth 2. This one, worth 4. And this one is worth 8, okay? So as you can see, this bit over here, all right, is the least significant bit because it's only worth one okay that is the least significant bit oops bit okay and over here in this particular instance that bit there is the most significant bit okay those terms come up now and again you'll see them around the place but going back to what they're worth, if we see this one is set, so this is a one, this is one, that's not. So we can ignore that really, and that's one, that one is set. So this here is worth one, all right? We know it's worth one. So, so far this number, this whole number, is worth one plus two, because that one's worth two. This one doesn't matter because it's not set, and this one's worth eight. So you add all this up, and you get 11 in decimal, okay? So we're, we're looking decimal at the moment because we just added these, num these decimal numbers up. But 11 in hexadecimal, if you added this up in hexadecimal, if you remember, that would have been equal to B. So it's B in hexadecimal. Okay, that's the same one. Okay, now I'm going to expand on that a little bit. And just make a bigger number. One zero one zero one one zero zero. So right here we have eight bits. Okay? Now whenever you're talking about eight bits, that e that that equals a byte. So eight bits is a byte. So we have one byte of data here. So eight bits is a byte. And same as before where I said um, the first value here is worth one, 
Okay. Next one's double. So two, four, eight, 16, uh, 32. Oh. This one here would be worth 64. And this one here is worth 128. Okay, so they add up quickly. So using the same method before, we just see if, there were, if they're actually set here. Now this one is a zero, so it doesn't really matter what that's worth. That one's worth nothing because it's zero. This one here is set, so there's a four involved, okay, because there's a four. That one's worth four, so it's a four. This one's worth eight. This one, pff, there's nothing, so it doesn't matter what it's worth. This one, 32. And this one, 128. So, add all that up. What do you get? Well, it's 40, 168, 172. Is that what you got? <laughs> Let's have a look. So you can add it up, 128 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4, bang, 172, right? Right, so that's worth 172. But let's say we don't want to represent that as decimal. See, that's a decimal number, okay? But let's say, we just want to get rid of that. We don't want to add it up like that. We want to represent this um, binary number as hexadecimal. Now, we know from before that you can represent four bits with one hexadecimal digit, okay? So if we look at this separately as four bits, um, we can just add it up. Okay, so if we see what we've got here, we've got no ones, we've got no twos, we've got a four and an eight. So four and an eight would be 12, okay? But that's in uh, decimal, decimal. But we want to represent this as hex, and we can do this in one character rather than using a 1 and a 2 like we have to do in decimal. We could say, well, 12 would be uh, C in hexadecimal. Okay, if you remember back here, C would be the same as 1100. Okay, just a way of representing it. So that's worth C. And if we go over this side now, since we've broken it down into four bits, they're not worth 16, 32, 64, and 128 anymore. They're, they're worth 1, 2, 4, and 8, just like they were over here. So we've got no 1s, we've got a, a 2 and an 8, okay? Which is 10, but we say that's A, because A in hexadecimal is 10 in decimal. So there it is. You can say that 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 equals A. C. Okay, I'm going to use a bigger number now, and I'm going to use a whole byte, okay, which is 8 bits. And I'm going to make most of them 1. Now, this is going to be a big number, but let's, let's just think about this in a, a little bit of a sneaky way. We know, I'll just remind you, this is worth 1, this is worth 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now, we've only got 8 bits here, but if there were a ninth one over here, right, let's say we had another one over here, that would be worth 256, all right, if it were there, but it's not. But what have we got here? We've got, we've got all these bits. Now, we could add this up. We could go 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128, and you go, oh, you have to start thinking, or if you're soft, you might use a calculator. Now, let's look at that as a whole. Now, that most of them are 1s. But let's say they were all ones, okay? One, 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 one. We know that if we added one more to this, right? It would equal. It would equal the next there, there, right? It would equal that if we added one to that, and we know that that would equal two fifty six. So this number here. One, 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 one is one less than that, okay? It's one less than 256, because all we did was add one to it to get to 256. So we know, we know that this, straight away, in decimal, is gonna equal 255. And we also know that if we split it into four bits each, in hexadecimal, that's gonna be an F, and that's gonna be an F, okay? So it equals FF. So these are common numbers here, like 255, FF, you may have seen a uh, subnet mask that talks about uh, 255, you might have seen come up a lot. If you think of it as binary, we're talking 8 bits here all set. That gives you your 255. Again, it's one less than 256, which would be the next one. 
So going back up to our example up here, where mostly ones, except a couple of zeros at the end, we know that if these were set, it would be one plus two, which would be three. So what we know is the whole lot, 255, minus those three, because, the, because you know these aren't set, minus three equals 252. So it's not actually that hard for a number like this anyway to know that 1111-1100 equals 252 in decimal, okay? And that comes in handy when you're talking about subnet masks and things that we'll get into in future. It's just good to know why these numbers are seen a lot, okay? It's to do with how many bits are set and what that works out to when you calculate it in decimal or hexadecimal. Okay, so there's just an overview of binary in hex. Now, hex, short for hexadecimal. You won't escape it in the IT world, especially in networking, okay? Decimal is only really used for the human interface, but internal on the computer, it's all bits, okay? Because they're all transistors turning on and off anyway. So that's how it thinks. So it's good that we can think a bit like that. And after a while, it does start to make sense. So don't be scared if you don't get it just yet. Uh, you can refer back to this as we do things that use this in the future. And one of those will be subnet masks. So as I said, it might look familiar already. It might not, but it definitely will. Anyway, until next time, take it easy.